The programming world has had its own share of celebrities. While they're not the Drakes and Rihannas that everyone is familiar with, they do endear developers in their own way. In today's video, we are going to talk about the most popular programming languages for 2023, particularly the people that invented them. Without further ado, let's get into it. JavaScript You cannot get your vehicle started without an engine, and speaking of automobiles, JavaScript is easily the engine of the World Wide Web. It powers nearly 100% of all websites in the world today, making it a go-to for creating web applications. JavaScript was developed by Brendan Eich, who was hired by Netscape to create a scripting language that would enable web pages to display dynamic behavior. Now, if you had gone back in time to, say, 1995, you would have found yourself staring at websites that basically did nothing other than present static information. Eich fixed that, and from there on, all that was left was mass adoption by emerging web browsers. HTML and CSS HTML and CSS are two out of the three crucial languages for web development, JavaScript being the third. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee, a physicist who had once designed a system for CERN researchers to use and share documents, proposed the development of a hypertext system that could run on the internet. Due to the kind of work he was doing, he wanted physicists from all over the world to be able to organize their information and access it with ease. This morphed into HTML and was eventually written in late 1990. However, the development of CSS or cascading style sheets became necessary when it was realized that it was impossible to style documents as needed. This was resolved by Hakon William Lee, who hopped on the design train and published the first draft of CSS. And while it was inadequate, the first version provided room for conversations on style sheet design, attracting the collaboration of Bert Bose, another developer. Bose and Lai were among a number of other programmers who were working on various style sheets for web browsers at the time. The difference? CSS tended to be simple and declarative. Plus, it also tried to integrate the viewing choices of publishers and their readers. SQL Back when the first computer databases appeared in the 1960s, scientists developed interest in studying and understanding them. At the time, what existed in the database sector were hierarchical and network databases, which were, to put it generously, difficult to access. To retrieve data, you needed to write a fresh program, which essentially meant that non-programmers were denied this in their job descriptions. To fix this, Edgar Frank Codd, an English computer scientist and IBM employee, wrote an article in 1970 titled, A Relational Model of Data for Large Shared Data Banks. What Codd proposed was a development of new systems that allowed data to be represented in relations. This way, information could be manipulated without making changes to previous relations. The result of this was the creation of IBM System R, for which the query language SQL was written by Raymond Boyce and Donald Chamberlain. In 1979, IBM went public with SQL, and it gradually evolved into one of the most popular languages for databases today. Python Python is easily one of the most popular languages among new entrants to programming. It was developed by Guido Van Rossum during an uneventful Christmas break in the late 1980s. The language was released on the 20th of February 1991 and has since evolved into a mainstream program for professionals and newbies alike. The reason for Python's popularity is its simplicity and ease of use. It also had an enormous fan base who contribute periodically to its development. TypeScript TypeScript is an upgrade to features in JavaScript. It was released by Microsoft in 2012 following collaboration between top developers that went on for up to three years. The most famous member of this group is Anders Halesberg, who invented C hash and Turbo Pascal. Besides him are a bunch of up to 50 other developers who are working in various roles behind the scenes to develop this language. While it was still being created, TypeScript was codenamed Strata in a likely effort by Microsoft to keep the project under wraps. Names like Steve Luco, Luke Hoban, and Eric Gama are some of the other prominent names behind TypeScript. Java Java was conceived by researchers at Sun Microsystems led by James Goslin. The intent was to design a language that would allow electronic devices to interact with each other. By the time of its release in 1995, the growth of the World Wide Web necessitated the inclusion of a new focus. Because Java allowed computers to communicate with each other, it would be adopted in web pages where multiple devices could view the same content. Java also became an integral part of consumer devices, including cell phones, and was used in commercial applications. Because of its popularity, Sun created Java varieties. Java SE for personal computers, EE for servers, and ME for embedded devices. It is important to mention that Java and JavaScript are two different languages despite the similarity in names. And that's the end of today's video. Which one of the programming languages is your favorite for 2023? Do you think some will continue to dominate or will be overthrown by newer and more revolutionary languages? Leave your thoughts in the comments section and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget